Welcome back to the Distasol Skate Shop YouTube channel. I'm Ivo, of course. And in this video, we'll talk about every way that I can think of to make your skate more flexible. This video is a part of a five-part video series uh, just about flex. We'll have one topic oh, just about sideways flex. We'll have one topic where I'll try on all the different skates that are on the market and see how they compare in flex. And we'll have one video how to decrease your flex. And we'll have one video, that's where I started with, explaining everything there is to know about flex and kind of like what determines the flex in the first place. If you want to know, of course, if a skate is good for you, it's best to just come by our store here in Amsterdam and try on all these skates yourself and feel how it is. That's, th that's in the end of the day, the best way to know if something is right for you. If you already have a skate and you want to change the flex, then this video is the right video to watch. We're gonna talk about increasing the flex. And in general, I would say that for most people, this is a bad idea. You want to have a skate that is as stiff as possible. So the next video we'll do is about making it stiff. I would advise you to watch that one as well because it's probably way more relevant. Uh, however, you clicked on this, you knew the topic, you knew what you're getting into. So probably there's something in this for you. Um, let me know in the comments why you want to have uh, more flex because I'm, I'm interested in this. It's one of, a, a, one of the questions that I have now because the way I look at it right now, the stiffer the skate, the more performance you have. I do think that for some aggressive skating tricks, it's nice if you have some more flex to get like top soles and royals more easily. Um, especially back in the day, we skated the skates with the laces unlaced and the buckles were <laughs> almost entirely open. So I do remember that. And it worked well back in the day, it was fine. Um, and also back in the day, I also did some of the things to my skates, which I'm gonna tell you right now to increase the flex. Be sure to watch this video from start to finish because you probably want to try the last tips that I have first, okay? Don't start at the beginning if you want to adjust the flex. The last ones are maybe the ones that you want to start with. So. First thing that you can do, it's gonna be a whole list of things. First thing is if you have a shell with a cuff, which probably all of you have, you can take the cuff off and then there is these bunny ears here. And this is just plastic. So if you want to play with the flex, you can cut off these bunny ears. You can cut this off entirely or piece by piece. Um, you can, of course, cut off these bunny ears, but you can also keep them and just increase this cut here. So if you just take a pair of uh, really good scissors or maybe like a really sharp, sharp knife or a saw, you can just saw this in and make this V cut here a lot bigger. And if you do that, then the, the flex will increase a lot actually. So that's the first thing that you can do. Then the second thing, if you have a hard boot like Parset Next or an FR skate, then they have these really long flaps here. And not all skates have these long flaps on the cuff. For example, this uh, UC Carbon cuff does not have these long flaps, but really short ones. And here's a Throne cuff, and it also has short flaps. And the length of these flaps also have to do with the the forward flex, and uh, you can cut them off really easily. So again, just take a good pair of scissors or a sharp knife or even a saw and just saw it off. Get rid of it, take it out, and then you'll notice a difference. Worst case, you'll ruin it, and then you can just buy, uh, buy a new cuff. That's always possible. We, of course, here at This Is All Skate Shop have all the cuffs that are on the market available on our web shop. Okay, the next thing that you can do is adjust the position of the cuff. Maybe you should do that before you start cutting and everything. Um, some of the skates on the market have adjustable cuffs, like this icon skate here. You can take the cuff bolt off and here you can change this little spacer in the cuff. You can push it out. Here, you see this? I just pushed it out and then I can flip it. And by flipping it, I'm changing the, the height of the cuff. 
changing the height will not do that much for the forward flex. It will do sometimes a little. And it depends a little bit on um, the shape. If it goes up and down and the shape of the, of the shell in the back actually goes in an angle or not, then it will adjust it a lot. But if, the, if it goes the same, so if, if the angle of the skate here and the angle of the cuff changing is in the same direction, then it doesn't do that much. What does more is if you change the cuff forward and backwards. And that's the case that you can do with an FR cuff. You can see it here. You can change it in four different positions. And there's also a bunch of other skates that have this. Um, another brand that has this is Razors, on, at least on the SL, the Shift, and um, the Genesis also. You can change it forward and backwards. There's a little T-nut, which you can put in in two different positions. Um, most skates, however, on the market don't have this option right now. So unfortunately, if you don't have this, you cannot use it. One other thing that you can do to change the, the Ford Flex is to put a more flexible liner in the skate. Um, of course, the shell itself determines a really big part of the flex. But surprisingly, if you put on a different liner, uh, it, the Ford Flex changes a lot. One of the stiffest liners is the Intuition liner. And one of the most flexible liners are probably the MyFit Skinny Boy or probably most of the, of the standard MyFit liners are really, really flexy. So if you put those in any skate, you'll increase the flex. This is a Remedy skate, and the Remedy skate comes with a Velcro strap here instead of a buckle. And this Velcro strap here has the same standard buckle mount, SBM, with three holes. So it's an SBM3 here. You see the two holes here, and then one in the back. Uh, so it's an SBM3 buckle. Every SBM3 buckle on our website fits on any SBM3 skate. Most likely you have a skate that will fit this strap as well. And if you have this strap on your skate, you can see it. It's really easy for me to wiggle this. It's really soft, so it increases your flex. Uh, we also have a strap like this from God's brand right now. There's also a separate, Kekota is the name of the brand, I think. There's also a separate uh, like strap brand on the market that we also sell. Uh, so there's a couple of options there and uh, all of them probably will fit and all of them will increase the flex because yeah, it's just softer. So it will enable your foot to move forward better. Next thing that you can do is the changing the buckle receptor. And probably this is something that not a lot of people have thought about, but there's forward facing buckle receptors. So that means that the receptor is on the front side of this bolt and there's backwards facing buckle receptors. And that means that the receptor is in the back of this bolt. The backwards facing ones usually are a lot um, stiffer than the forward facing ones. So just look at, look at what's happening. If I push the, the buckle down here, you can see that this receptor is moving a lot. You see that? And then if I push the buckle here, nothing much is happening, okay? So if I would put this receptor on this gate right now, it will increase the flex a lot. And you still have a buckle, so you don't have to have a strap. So it's kind of like the same thing as the strap does, but you can still have a buckle. There have been some liners as well on the market um, where you could increase and decrease the flex by adding or taking away a part of the tongue. I think one of the old jock liners used to have this. There also have been some Civica liners where you could like have an extra um, piece of tongue. Actually, like there were, there was like a detachable tongue that you can take away. So you could play with the flex like that. But right now there's actually no skate on the market that I know of that has uh, either like an insert or something that you, like a tongue that you can take off and play with the flex like that. But there's a, a big opportunity for liner brands to, uh, to kind of like offer different flex uh, possibilities with their liners, but uh, none of them are jumping on this right now. But maybe if you have a really old skate, you can check 
if you can take away your uh, your tongue or if there's like a little piece of insert, like a little piece of plastic in your tongue that you can take away if you want to decrease the flex. The last topic that I'm gonna say is regarding the tightness of the skate itself. And while I go through this list, I think actually you should do all these in reverse because I started with cutting in your skates and probably that should be the last thing that you do. And probably the first thing that you should do is try to loosen it up. Uh, don't make the laces so tight and have the buckle really loose. That's, that should be the first thing that you try, of course, okay? So I now listed all the things that you can do to make your skate more flexy. Do them in reverse, not do them in the order that I told you. Uh, if you want to make your skate more flexy or if you want to learn more about Ford Flex or if you want to know how these, all these skates compare, you can watch our full five-part video series regarding Flex on our YouTube channel. Subscribe, of course, if you want to get notified when the next one is gonna be up. If you wanna learn more about anything about skating, keep an eye out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.